Breaking news right now, frightening moments for a Polk County Sheriff's deputy. The sheriff says that deputy was shot in the chest confronting a suspect. Yeah, the deputy is doing okay because the bullet hit him through his bulletproof vest or in his bulletproof vest, I should say, and that saved his life. And on your side, Xavier Harris joining us live from the scene in Davenport. What's the latest? Hey, good morning, Chris and Deanne. Right now we are in the Tanglewood subdivision, more specifically at the intersection of Briar Patch Drive and Tanglewood, uh, or Brian Patch Loop, rather, and Tanglewood Drive. Now, if you'll look behind me here, you can see it's still an active scene. Uh, deputies and investigators are out on the scene just assessing, trying to continue to uh, figure out what took place here Wednesday night. You can see that caution tape is still up right now, and this entire street has been blocked off for some time. So far, here's what we know. The shooting happened just after 10 o'clock Wednesday night. Two deputies were called out to a family disturbance at the Tanglewood Preserve subdivision. The suspect who deputies now identify as Gabriel Batista drove past two marked patrol cars and got out and approached deputies with his hands behind his back. Now deputies asked him to show his hands. He did not comply. Deputies went to tase him and the other one, the other deputy uh, held a gun towards him. Batista fired one shot and hit the deputy in the chest and the deputy was wearing a bulletproof vest which Sheriff Grady Judd says saved his life. As for the suspect, deputies returned fire. He fell to the ground and dropped the gun. He was not hit by any bullets and was taken into custody. Now, Sheriff Grady Judge says the deputy was transported to Lakeland Regional and is in great health, and he's expected to be released from the hospital later on today. Of course, we'll stay out here on the scene and continue to see what new information we can find, and once we get that, we'll relay it to you. This morning, we're live in Polk County. I'm Xavier Harris, 8 on your side.